What is up guys, Coop here, and today we're going to be talking about a build on how to do the Red Prince. So, how do we exactly build the Red Prince? So the Red Prince is actually pretty good at literally everything, but he is super good at one thing and one thing only. He is really good at being a mage-based character. Now, you might be saying, why is he really good at that? And we'll dive in and we'll show you everything. But first, to understand the character, you must look at their racials. So, the racial that he gets is Dragon Blaze. So basically, you breathe uh, flames in a cone, dealing 5 to 6 uh, fire damage and leaving fire surfaces behind, and sets burning for 2 turns, and it's resisted by magical armor. So right there, you've already got a fire-based ability that does fire damage and it leaves fire on the ground. So you have this elemental sort of uh, surface that you can do stuff with. So that's important to keep that in mind. The next thing is Demonic Stare, which gives us six to seven magical armor from a target uh, character and you gain that amount for yourself. So basically, uh, depending on how much uh, damage you deal, you'll restore up to a magical armor. So that's one way to look at it. The next thing that's really important is Sophisticated. So he gets 5% fire resistance and 10% uh, poison resistance. And then another thing is he gets spell song, which increases his persuasion by one. So persuasion by one, it seems like kind of a flat stat. A lot of people would be like, man, that's kind of a dumb stat. But keep in mind, um, when you play a main base character, you get in a lot more conversations that require persuasion checks. And so it's not a bad idea to have that plus one persuasion. You'll actually be able to do those persuasion checks a lot more. So he's a really good character if you want to make that like your main rather than just a party member. So really good choice overall but the important part is these two racials and sophisticated you can really partner them up really well with a variety of different things so look at sophisticated we have fire resistance we have a uh, ability that does fire damage and we have magical armor so having mage armor having the resistance and having fire it just says hey you're gonna be standing in fire so there's a few different ways we can actually build this. So the way that I like to build him is personally as a sort of wizard. Um, we would honestly probably go fire wands. And the reason that you'd be going with fire wands is, let me show you. You can do geomancer and pyrokinetic because you can do uh, the whole fossil strike, searing daggers, ignition, which isn't that bad of a idea. Or you can just go pure pyro and then get haste. Or peace of mind either one really works I kind of prefer the whole uh, geomancer thing though it just does a lot more build up now what's really cool about pyro is it increases all your fire damage done so if you get fire wands and you have all fire spells and you already use all your fire stuff you can become like a fire god pretty much I would get rid of the lore master stuff though and put it probably in persuasion so that you're just mainly a persuasion based character but that's up to you you don't have to do that and we'll put that there so that's one way to build him, um, specifically if you're going to build a sort of uh, mage based character. it's a, You don't really need constitution yet. You can put a point in constitution if you want, but I would just stack on so your main stat. So that's one way to build him. Now if we were to do talents for it, uh, Far Out Man is not a bad choice. Um, you've got Demon, which is really good. Uh, fire resistance is increased by 15% you take uh, a penalty to water but you gain additional fire resistance so that's really nice overall because you can just stand in the fire and just do what you got to do and then a really good partner uh, talent to do with that is elemental affinity which lowers the uh, AP cost of your abilities by one so your abilities like let me try to find one searing daggers would cost one uh, ignition however will not be zero it still will be one so that's important to Keep in mind. So, really good combo there, along with Far Out Man, because you can just reach incredible, incredible distance. Um, and then, obviously, Lone Wolf is always really good if you just want to be like a full blown, just mage badass. And then, uh, Savage uh, Sword of Ledge is really good because it actually gives you a chance to add uh, crit to your magical base skills. So, that's really nice overall. And then, obviously, later on, you can pick other stuff. Um, all skilled up, bigger and better. Um, the pawn doesn't really help you out with this sort of scenario but basically that's how you want to build him as a mage so basically you're gonna be trying to stack up that fire damage um, specifically you're probably gonna get one point in geomancer just so you can have the fossil strike and then you just stack pyro on top of that because you're increasing your fire damage 
and you just basically become like a fire god pretty much you just deal incredible amounts of damage uh and then you can partner up with far out man demon so they have even more resistance so you take like pretty much no damage because you have your um, magical armor because you're going to be a mage based character so you're going to be wearing a lot of magical based armor stuff and then on top of it you're going to have even more of a resistance and then on top of that you can have your spells be really cheap and you can have good range so be sure to look at all that um, also comeback kid is not a bad one but I would definitely go far out man demon uh, elemental infinity or I would go far out man and elemental infinity demon then comeback kid uh, Comeback Kid's really good for a mage just because it keeps you around a little bit longer and you're not known for having health and also you're going to be dealing with um, enemies who do a lot of physical damage and that's going to be one of your weak spots so it's important that you uh, basically you build around that because uh, they're going to have a low amount of magical armor so having Comeback Kid and being able to just be like alright you're attacking me with your physical damage and boom you're dead so that's important to keep in mind. Now, what's another way that you can build uh, the good old Red Prince is, well, you can try to do him as a, as a fighter. Um, this way it's a little bit harder, I can't lie. Uh, just because it doesn't really do as much as you'd like. So what we can do here is you can do the whole knockdown, uh, you can do ignition, igniting all surfaces around you, uh, and then you can do bouncing shield but problem is you start splitting your damage a little bit so uh, this scales off of intelligence this scales off of uh, strength and you can like try to split up the stats but that doesn't really work too well like I said he's decent at everything but he's not great at everything so just keep that in mind you can kind of build him as like a fighter with uh, fire but the main thing with uh, the Red Prince is he really has all this toolkit for fire um, you know, he has the uh, fire resistance, the poison resistance, and it just makes sense for him to overall be like a mage based character. Um, it, it just makes a lot more sense, honestly, in the long run. But, anyways, that, that's sort of my guide for him. Um, in the comments below, tell me how you guys build the Red Prince, but honestly, he is such a good, like, just wizard in general. Um, I wouldn't really put too many points into uh, Geomancer. Uh, you could try to put like a point or two in there just to get stuff, but. What I would always suggest is just making sure that you do Far Out Man, Demon, Elemental Infinity, and you can do Lone Wolf and a Comeback Kid. Like that's that's just like the go-to build for me. Um, I've tried it out before. <laughs> it just creams down enemies, just destroys them. Um, I'm actually wanting to try it out myself uh, in my next uh, Let's Play of it. So after I finish the uh, walkthrough I'm doing, I'm probably gonna do it in private or on Twitch. So that's always fun to watch, but. Like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check out in the future for some custom-based character guides. Thank you.